This course is great for loads of loads of different students. Um, our entry requirements are that you have um, six six in combined science or six in chemistry if you did triple science and a six in maths and that's because there is a bit more maths in it than you will have seen in chemistry before. Um, but we also have uh, lots of opportunities to develop that so if you're not super keen on the maths it's not a problem, we will help you practice. Um, anyone who's interested in asking questions about how the world works and anyone who is really interested in uh, developing their broader skills like your digital skills and your graphical skills. Chemistry is a really, really useful subject to study if you're doing um, almost anything afterwards actually because um, it links to all your sciences so it will help you to understand the context and broader ideas if you're looking at biology or geology or physics but it's also a really useful subject in its own right. It goes into uh, developing medicines, developing cosmetics, uh, dealing with energy and things like that and then even if you're not interested in sciences directly um, it's really useful for developing skills like thinking logically, uh, numeracy and also um, scientific literacy. Even if you're not in a science job you might well want to read the news and know what's going on in the science world. Um, it might affect various industries and you might just find it interesting and um, our chemistry course would really help you with that as well. There are such a range of really interesting topics in A-level chemistry. So um, you start off with one called Elements of the Sea, which is all about atomic structure and sort of building a little bit on what you've done at GCSE, how bonding works, that sort of thing. And then there are a range of other topics, all of which are focused on a particular sort of problem or area of the world that chemistry might tell you about. So there's one called Developing Fuels, which will tell you about the energy changes and the molecules that go into a car. There's one called uh, What's in a Medicine, which will be about how medicines are developed and how people can uh, check that the stuff they're giving you is actually the right molecules. Um, and you will actually get the opportunity to make some aspirin in that topic as well. Um, there's one called Colour by Design, which is all about the dyes that we see around us and um, why chemicals provide those different colours and how we can tweak them to help us get particular colours. Um, there's one about the ozone layer and all about the atmosphere and how um, we can protect the atmosphere so there's quite a bit of environmental chemistry in there as well. Um, so any type of chemistry you're interested in, we will study it in A-level. Um, it is uh, basically a 100% exam at the end of second year. You get lots of practice building up to that so it will help you build those skills and you'll get practice papers and stuff. Um, and there's also a separate practical endorsement which happens in this lovely lab and you uh, do a series of practicals, around 30 of them, throughout the two years um, and we will sort of assess you live in a non-stressful way, you've got lots of opportunities and that's on doing the science skills that you can't assess in an exam like can you use the equipment, uh, can you record your data accurately and can you analyse it. Um, we have each year a chemistry and action trip which is open to first years and second years um, and that involves going to the University of Warwick and seeing um, a series of talks all about cutting edge chemistry which are aimed at sixth formers but which give you a little bit of a view into what chemistry might look like beyond sixth form as well. So in both years you can participate in the Chemistry Olympiad which is a international competition all about extending your knowledge of chemistry beyond A level um, and there's also a prep uh, sort of slightly easier version of that competition for year 12s that you can do in the summer which will give you a little bit more practice and also that broader view. Common destinations would be uh, medicine, biochemistry, environmental science. It's also um, good if you want to do law because there's lots of um, technical sides to law where having a bit of science knowledge would help. Um, anything to do with energy or engineering um, and like I said earlier it's useful for loads of other things, accountancy, business, anything where you need a bit of numeracy. Well, I was annoying my friends talking about science too much, um, but I also love the power that a science education has. It lets you understand um, the news and it lets you talk more easily to doctors and I just like being able to give young people that power.